day three of regular lobster season. All right, so we uh, we get up today. We uh, get there at daylight, thinking we're gonna catch a slack tide, and uh, actually it was just starting to move. We got there, so we hit around the bridges, um, deep water, got 14, 16, I guess, total uh, after a lot of hard work. There was doubts as to whether or not we'd be able to limit. Uh, I don't particularly hold to that philosophy and we're here and we're gonna get our limit, so. The real hazardous crew hit a few of the deep spots, but only find a few that keep. So I'm just like barely kept. So Team Real Hazardous decides to go back to free diving and has the boat slowly pull the divers over good lobster areas. Sometimes the divers can even hear the lobster before they see them. Because water is much denser than air, hearing is better of water. If you know what to listen for, you can occasionally hear the lobster. They make a clicking sound like this. Without much luck, they decide to go to the Gulf of Mexico. Somebody brought up the G word, Gulf, and uh, we went out in the Gulf, and uh, the major disappointment right there, we won't do that again. Try to get a little OFH in the GOM. That's a optimum fishing hour in the Gulf of Mexico. The Atlantic Ocean and Gulf of Mexico is separated by just a small bridge. The Real Hazards team doesn't usually lobster in the Gulf, but with a tough season, they decide to give it a shot. They hit a few of their numbers, but have no luck with it. The Gulf of Mexico generally has big ledges and holes. This is good for when the lobster are there, but if that hole already gets hit, or there just ain't many lobster there, there's pretty much nothing there and the team has to move on to other numbers. After hitting a few spots with no success, the team decides to head in for lunch and go back out later in the evening for lobster. We took a fishing break and then went out in the evening. Come back in, ate us a snack, back out to the lobster hole. Tough, I mean, the toughest part today really wasn't even the lobster. It was the people. We had a couple times where and we had smoke on my functions and, you know, attitudes with flair. Normally, when lobster are being caught, everyone is happy. But the crew is tired and working against a fast current and tempers are flaring. So the situation is, Chris and Dad are in the water. Dad's off. And they're, they're acting like, what would you call it, Mom? They're upset. I don't know why they're upset. But then they're like, we're too close to the current. Or we're too close to the bridge and the current's kicking and take us away. We don't let go. And then my dad will let go after he said that. And then he'll repeat the thing like, don't let go. And then they're like, go, go. But then like, if I go fast, like, you're, you're killing me here. He's having snorkel issues, but he's the one telling me to go fast. Chris is like, can I let go? 
like, no, but it's already let go. Oh, it's okay. This will be funny later. They won't even, <laughs> they won't even think about yeah, it. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be funny later. It's funny now to me. Yeah, to me and you, we're up here. Good TV, I think. You needed some drama. Hey, I need to catch them in, in person. No. That'd be funny. Keep asking me to go, I'll go. I'll drown. Uh, figuratively speaking. I can drop off any time now, correct? I don't know. Yeah, boy, at warp six. I put on Jeremy's mask and that made me cross eyed I don't want I don't want to get away from the bridge. You catch some lobster there. You know? Why leave lobster? It's like I'm up. With the current still strong and most of the lobster by the bridge, JJ switches out with Captain Jeremy. The good news is that there are a lot of lobster being found by the bridges. These are numbers that the Real Houses crew doesn't usually hit, and they seem to be holding quite a few lobster. boys in the water fighting against the current close to the bridge, they managed to catch the rest of their limit and conclude the day for the real hazardous team. Back on board, the divers see some of the lobster are missing antennas and legs. Sometimes lobster will lock up in a hole and divers may not be able to get them out. Inexperienced divers will grab at their antennas over legs trying to pull them out. However, their antennas and legs break off easily and usually won't result in getting the lobster out. Thankfully, once lobster molt, their legs and antennas will grow back and they'll be okay. This one's a, this shell is just recovering from molting. They get a soft shell and they shed this and that's how they grow. One more day to go. We little fishing and went back in the evening, did a little dive and it was, uh, it was a lot better than we expected. We got them quick, finished up our day. It was uh, beautiful out. Nice and cool. One word to describe today. I have to say attitude. A resurgence. Better than expected. <laughs> it's a compound word. Prediction for tomorrow. Success. Limit. I think we'll actually do good. I think we'll get our limit. You know, we, we found some good spots that seem to be whole numbers and we got the tides timed out right, so I think we'll be able to hit them just right and uh, finish up the trip. Um, I think we can do it. Tomorrow's the last day. I'm gonna knock out a few and then hopefully get done in time to be in church. With some of the best lobstering grounds of the season found, the team of Real Hazardous is very optimistic with their final day of lobster season.